Uh, hello students, so hope you all are good and following the lectures that I have been um, discussing. So in the last class, I have already discussed about Rutherford's atomic model. So uh, ju just a bit of recapitulation. What he did was he considered a gold foil and some alpha particles. Alpha particles means helium nucleus was incident on the gold foil. As a result of which, uh, he found out that most of the particles went undeviated and some particles got scattered at certain angles and many uh, and some particles uh, they got reflected back. This, this was uh, what is known as Rutherford model. Now, a question may come to your mind, why gold foil? Why gold foil? He considered gold, gold foil because he wanted to uh, take a material which is as thin as possible and as you know, as you know, metals can be, you know, uh, drawn into thin sheets, okay? So, as they can be drawn into thin sheets, he took, uh, he took a gold foil, which was very, very thin. And why helium particles? Why alpha, why alpha particles were considered? Alpha particles were considered because it has, as you can see, it has two protons and electrons and obviously two neutrons. So, what is happening here is, uh, it is having uh, this alpha particles will have energy uh, uh, which is compatible I mean energy which is enough uh, to investigate are you understanding so energy of the alpha particles is not very very high nor very very low and as uh, helium is a noble gas it is stable and he considered uh, alpha particles which were incident on this gold fall and the consequences are known to you all isn't it now the point is uh, there are the, the features of Rutherford's model, you have already done it in your homework also. Uh, there, he found out that there exists a dense material within the uh, gold foil. There exists a dense material within the gold foil and he termed this dense material as nucleus. So, uh, the features of Rutherford's model were, uh, most of the space in the atom is empty. That is why most of the particles were going undeviated some particles were getting scattered so this uh, and some particles were coming back so there is a part within the uh, gold foil okay uh, which is uh, there is a central part within the within the gold foil which is very very dense okay and that was termed as nucleus now the point is this uh, this model was also not able to satisfy you know explain some features okay so there were some flaws incorporated within this model so that is what we got to discuss today Okay, so there were plenty of flaws incorporated in this Rutherford's atomic model. Now, what are the flaws? Now, okay, fine. He discovered, uh, he discovered, he said that electrons revolve in circular orbits. He said that electrons revolve in circular orbits. Fine. So, electrons started revolving in circular orbits. So, we have a center central part which is called nucleus isn't it now as electrons start uh, revolving in circular orbits what do you ex e what do you expect now if electrons start uh, you know revolving in uh, circular orbits now if i start rotating if i keep on rotating or if you keep on rotating what will happen with passage of time you will lose energy isn't it you will lose energy it's fine isn't it so you will lose energy what does that mean Suppose this electrons keep uh, electron keeps on revolving like this. So with passage of time, this electron will lose energy. So once it loses energy, so it will try to sleep, isn't it? Once you lose energy, you feel uh, lethargic, you want to sleep. No? So this electron also wants to sleep and it comes to the nucleus. So now this electrons as a result of loss of energy. So this electron is losing energy. It is coming here and here. So this electron is being incorporated, is trying to get incorporated within the nucleus so now this is the problem the problem is electron cannot reside inside the nucleus so later on when you obviously for now in the nucleus we have protons and neutrons that is known to you all so with passage of time these electrons when they are revolving they uh, continuously radiate energy electrons they continuously radiate energy so once they radiate energy uh, they, uh, there, uh, there comes a point where these electrons get incorporated within the nucleus. Okay, now this is a problem. The problem is electrons cannot reside within the nucleus. If electrons uh, start residing within the nucleus, atom will 
become unstable unstable and we know everything in the universe wants to attain stability so atom cannot be unstable if atom had been unstable we would not be so stable like this we could not i was i would not have been recording a video for you people if i were not stable and you were not you would not follow the lectures that i am doing everything in the universe would not have existed properly in a proper sequence if the atom had, if atoms had not been stable so atoms are stable okay so atoms i, do, I don't have a duster so atoms are stable okay so as atoms are stable we are uh, there exists some flaw incorporated within it okay so the base the main flaw the major flaw of rutherford's atomic model was that it could not explain the stability it could not explain the stability of an atom so it couldn't explain the stability of an atom okay so atoms are stable you, you know you know that right if atoms are not stable then nothing will work but according to rutherford's model electrons are revolving continuously in circular orbits and there will be uh, with passage of time they will radiate energy and that electron will get incorporated within the nucleus which is not possible okay so uh, which will lead to unstable uh, and you know uh, instability of the atom and so this stability of an atom it's a very very important point could not be explained using through the first atomic model so there has to be another model okay which will overcome this flaw okay so then came bohr baba so he for he gave up gave his own model which is bohr's model of an atom bohr's atomic model okay so this uh, i think uh, i think we got to stop here uh, for today so in the next class i'll be talking about bohr's atomic model and how it over overcame this flaw of rutherford's atomic model uh, we have a little bit we'll have a little bit of discussion of, about isotopes and isobars as i have already discussed about electronic configuration and valency okay hope you all know because i was focusing so much on electronic configuration and valency in the preceding lectures in the previous chapters that that is why i will not discuss about those things in this chapter okay so i will discuss about isotopes and isobars after that after discussing bose model of an atom so for this lecture uh, uh, we'll stop here thank you so much